Hello everybody, it's Matt from TDM Style here, and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a few different styling techniques to take your hair from wavy to straight. So as you guys can see, I've got a pretty righteous um, bed head going on here, so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity uh, for me to show you sort of my daily routine on how I take my hair from crazy waves and curl to uh, a more straight, controlled look. Now all these techniques that I'm going to show you are um, based on starting with wet hair. So whether you've shampooed or you're on uh, second day hair and you just hit it with a bit of water to get started, these techniques will work for you. So I'm going to go ahead and have a wash and then we'll get started. All right, once your hair is damp and ready to go, the first thing that you want to make sure you do is to apply some type of heat protectant. These straightening techniques do involve the use of heating tools, so it's important that you protect your hair from any possible heat damage, especially if you're doing this on a frequent basis. So I'm starting out with a little bit of a Blue Mon Styling Meraki. This is just my personal favorite because it's both a heat protectant and a pre-styler in one but it doesn't really matter what you use. It could be a heat protectant spray or you know some other kind of cream or something or an argan oil, just as long as you're giving your hair some protection. If you're starting out with clean hair like I am, the use of a pre-styler is very important as well to give you some grip and added volume throughout the blow drying process. But if you're doing this on second day hair and you've got some leftover product in there, you may not need that part. Your next step is to start with the blow dryer. And as always, I'm using this on the medium heat setting and high power. I like to start by blow drying my hair upside down a bit just to get rid of some excess moisture and also to add in some volume. Then I'm going to go in with my vent brush and basically comb everything forward. And the vent brush is perfect for this because you can actually stick the hair dryer right on top of the brush and follow right behind it. And the uh, air is going to go through those holes in the vented brush and it's just going to work very nicely to apply some tension to your hair, which is going to help straighten it out. The next step and possibly the most important one in my opinion is to combine your blow dryer with a round brush. This is something that I never used to do, but ever since I've started doing it, it's just made my life so much easier. What you want to do here is actually separate your hair into small sections and do one at a time. So if you have really long or a lot of hair that's kind of in the way and hard to manage, you might also benefit from using something like an alligator clip here where you can hold most of your hair out of the way while you work on one section. Once you have a small section of hair, you want to grab it with a round brush like this, which is going to apply some tension, at which point you can pull it up very lightly and follow right along, touching the condenser nozzle of your blow dryer right to your hair. Now, I've done a lot of experimenting with this on how to make it work really well, and what I've found is that you really need to follow the natural growth of your hair in order to get it as straight as you want. As Bob Ross might say, Always follow those angles. So for example, since this front section of my hair here grows naturally from the left to the right, that is the direction in which I'm applying tension with the brush. Once that section of hair has been straightened out enough, you can then use the brush in this sort of a backwards curling motion to shape it how you might want. So I'm basically going to continue using this round brush technique throughout my entire head of hair until it's completely dry. So if you're finding that your hair isn't getting quite as straight as you might like with this, I would suggest starting out with smaller sections of hair as if you have too much hair on the brush at one time, it's difficult to get it all straightened out. Now, depending on how well I've done with the round brush by the time my hair is totally dry, I usually will stop here and apply my finishing product as I like to have a little bit of a sort of natural wave left in my hair and rather than having it completely straight. However, there are some days that I just can't get all of these kinks out and sometimes you just need a little bit of extra help getting that last bit of straightening done. So for that, we can go in with a pair of straighteners. So if you have a section like this with a kink in it or just any sort of uh, unruly places that the blow dryer doesn't seem to be doing its job quite as well as you might like, you can go in with the straightener and just use it for a couple seconds in each section of hair as desired. And right here is a perfect example of why you want to make sure you have some heat protectant in there beforehand. These straighteners can get really super hot and uh, if you're not careful and you leave it in a section of hair for a little bit too long, it definitely can cause some heat damage. And that's basically it guys. Once you've got your hair to the desired level of straightness and it's in a shape that you like, you want to go in with your choice of a finishing product. So as you guys know by now, I'm a big fan of clays, basically because they keep my hair flowy, but they also provide lots of long lasting hold.
So that does it for this tutorial, guys, and I'm, uh, I'm really happy with how mine came out today. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. As always, thank you so much for coming by and watching, and we'll see you all at the next one.